morning, bonjour, sego, tonse, kwe, kwe, kinawea. Greetings, my relatives. Grandmother Kim here. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a cloth medicine bag. I've been talking about medicine bags for a while. They're very easy to make, and I'm going to give you a very simple uh, tutorial. So I have a, a chunk of cloth here. I have a rotary cutter, or you could have scissors, whatever you have at home. I have a ruler, and I have a, a cutting mat. So I'm going to show you how I cut this out. And um, this is something that has, has been self-taught for me, but wasn't hard at all. And I simply lay out a piece of fabric, and I find usually scraps, and I cut it. I try to be relatively um, freeform in it. I like this color, so I'm going to work with this fabric. Got that cut. Put the excess away. I fold it to try and uh, do as little cutting as possible. And I want to make sure that you can see this well. So I'm just going to move it a little closer. And you see how it's not quite even on the, on the one side here? I'm going to cut that, that edge off and make it nice and even. And I'm not, I'm not really too fussy about, you know, doing a lot of measuring and, and sewing and pinning. I kind of eyeball it a lot. Because I trust that the rule is straight, and so I trust that my line's going to be straight. And I cut off the raw edges. And now we have a piece of fabric ready to sew. And um, this is the good side, and this is the inside. And so as you look at this, you can see I'm going to put the, the two right sides together. It's, it's really just a, a long rectangle. And I'm going to take it to my sewing machine, and I'm literally going to sew down one side and the other side. And the opening will be here. And I'm going to fold this back just a little bit and I'm gonna stitch all around the top. So it's going to look well stitched and be a bag. I did on the, uh, on the edge, the raw edge of this was, I put a bit of, um, of this, which is called bias tape. I, I made it and um, I put a, you know, a, a matching color to kind of finish that raw edge off and and dress it up a little bit and so the the next thing that I would be doing is I will cut about a 12 inch piece of ribbon and this is going to be to close the bag and I'm going to show you a little trick to stop ribbon from fraying so as you take a look at that you can see that it's fraying um, I always cut it on a bit of an angle I think it looks nicer so you want to have um, pretty good sharp scissors to do that and then I take a I take a lighter and I actually slightly singe the ends. And what that does is it seals it so that it has um, a kind of a, a finish and it doesn't, it doesn't fray. And, and so I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna sew it uh, about, about one inch down from my, my bias tape here. I'm literally gonna fold the ribbon in half find the middle of it and then eyeball my bag and find the middle of the bag and I'm gonna zigzag this onto the bag so you can watch me do that I'm gonna do that right now I just want you to be able to see my sewing machine and see me at work and I put my little bag over the arm here and I found my halfway mark I folded the the ribbon so there's a little mark there and I found the halfway mark on my bag itself and it's about one inch down from the bias edge and I'm literally just gonna stitch this on 
with a about a I don't know an inch of zigzag forwards and backwards and backwards just enough to secure it on not really big it's not a whole lot of sewing but it's enough to and I always cut the loose threads it's a it's a sign of good sewing is you know cut off your loose threads and there you go the ribbons attached and you want to close up your bag you just wrap the two edges around and you have a beautiful gift for somebody tied into a bow bows are always pretty <laughs> and there's your medicine bag ready for gifting to somebody so i hope this was helpful for you i hope you'll try it best of luck everybody bye bye Bye-bye.